Interactive Brokers provides US futures data from the CME Group. In this video, we'll cover how to get Bookmap up and running with the Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation. Please note that Interactive Brokers data feed does not provide full depth data, just 10 levels of data are provided. You will be able to observe data from Interactive Brokers with Bookmap Global and Global Plus packages. However, to be able to trade live through Bookmap, Global Plus subscription is required. There are two connection options for Trader Workstation. One is to both trade and use Interactive Brokers data on Bookmap. The other is to use Interactive Brokers just for order routing and use another data provider for charting like DXFeed or Rhythmic. We will cover both options in this video. Let's start with the first one. First, make sure you have Trader Workstation and Bookmap installed. I've already opened Trader Workstation. Now let's go to file, then global configuration, then API, and now settings. Make sure the checkbox for enable ActiveX and Sockets clients is checked. Disable the option read only API. Change the port number to your liking. Copy the port number. We'll use it soon. Click OK and now let's open Bookmap. Please note that you have to keep Trader Workstation running for the connection to work. In Bookmap, click Connections, then Configure and Add Connection. Change the platform to Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation. Change the port number to the port number you copied and click OK. Now go to Connections, enable Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation and click the plus button to add a new instrument. Here we can add both stocks and futures instruments. I'll go over both options. For stocks, you have to choose Interactive Brokers under Platform, select STK under Type, the exchange of your liking and the desired stock symbol. For example, AAPL for Apple. Please note that the stock's data for interactive brokers is not optimized in Bookmap and we recommend using data from DXFeed or OmniFeed. For futures, you have to choose interactive brokers under platform, select FUT under type, the relevant exchange under the exchange, for example, CME, and type the proper symbol, for example, ESH3 for E-mini, S&P 500, March 2023. Hit subscribe, now the chart will load using the data from Interactive Brokers. Now let's cover the second option where you use other data feeds and trade a workstation just to trade. We'll start with closing and reopening Bookmap, now selecting the trading mode. You need to connect Bookmap with your other data provider such as Rhythmic or DXFeed. If you don't have a connection yet, please click the link above for instructions. In the connections menu, you'll need both Trade the workstation and your other data feed enabled at the same time. I have DX feed, so I'll click on DX feed and trade a workstation. Now click on the plus button. Under the platform menu, select your other data provider such as Rhythmic or DX feed. Do not select trade a workstation here. Since I have DX feed, I'll select DX feed. Once the chart is open, turn on the trade control panel by clicking on the padlock icon. Select the destination of your trades. Trades placed in this chart will be directed to the interactive broker's asset that you select here in this menu. Hit the start button. In the trade control panel, turn on trading by changing this from off to chart, DOM or both. You are now ready to place orders through interactive brokers with a chart from another data provider. 